Welcome to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. My name is Joanne. I'm one of the Family and Community Health County Extension Agents for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, Hidalgo County. Today, we'll be doing a walk and talk on No Excuses, Get Screened. The purpose is to inform you about cancer screening guidelines. What you're going to be doing is walking while I'm presenting. Ready? Let's get started. Let me tell you a story about Rita. Knowledge is the key is Rita Gore's message as a breast cancer survivor. She recalls her busy life at 45 working at working as a high school math teacher and married mother of teen girls. During a routine mammogram, her results showed that there was something unusual that required scheduling a biopsy. Then the news came. On November 8th, she was diagnosed with stage 1 or early stage breast cancer in her left breast. Looking back, she reflects on those dark days. It was like a whole world was falling apart, Gore said. I felt like I was being punched in the stomach. I went into my office and I stood there and I just started crying. Gorp had a lepsectomy in late November and started chemotherapy and radiation soon after. During treatment, she found strength in her students and family. In 2007, Rita finished her treatment and has been cancer free since. She checks with her doctors every six months to a year and she strives to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Today, she continues to teach math and has taken on another role, Cancer Screening Advocate with the American Cancer Society Outreach Program. I was blessed to be stage one, says Gore. Many women of African American descent are in stage three or four before they get tested or even diagnosed. Early detection is so important. We try to encourage women, especially young women, to be educated about screening and invest in their health more seriously. That's the key. Knowledge. Do you know someone who has had cancer? In the United States, one in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer in his or her lifetime. Cancer prevention begins with you taking action to lower your risk of developing this disease. Cancer screening is one way to practice prevention. In 2013, there was about 117,371 new cases of cancer in Texas. The estimate cost of cancer in Texas for 2010 was $25.3 billion. Recent reports show that 41,362 Texans will die from this disease, which the second leading cause of death for those under the age of 85. In Texas, breast cancer is the leading type of cancer in women and for men, prostate. The rates mirror national averages. For all Texans, ethnic groups except Hispanics, lung cancers has the second highest rate, followed by colorectal cancer as third. Colorectal is the second most common type of cancer found in Hispanic women and men. Cancer survivor is the rise due to advance in treatment, improvement in quality of care and early diagnosis. Between 2000 and 2009, there were 488,114 Texas cancer survivors. In 2012, the five-year survival rate was similarly encouraging for persons diagnosed with the cancers between 2001 and 2008. Breast cancers had an 85% five-year survival rate for all ethnicities. Yet, white women fare better with an 86.8% five-year survival rate compared to 74.7% for black women and 836 for Latinas. Since 1990, U.S. breast cancer deaths have been dropping, with breast cancer screening playing a major role. Despite the progress, 
the percentage of women who reported that they have had a mammogram in the past two years have leveled off, remaining at the same level since 2000. Breast cancer, sir, is the great important if women are diagnosed at an early stage. For men impacted by prostate cancer, the five-year sorrow rate was 93% for whites and 90 for blacks and Hispanics. Early detection is critical to improve cancer patients' long-term outcomes. This is especially important for Texans minority groups, particularly black and Hispanics, who have a higher cancer death rate than whites. Like breast cancer, colorectal cancer testing not only helps with early detection, but can help you avoid developing the disease. Recent stats show that 38% of Texans over the age of 50 have not had the recommended colonoscopy. What is your excuse for not screening? I'm too busy. I've never been sick before. No one in my family has had cancer. Screenings are embarrassing and uncomfortable. Or, if cancer is found, it's likely I won't survive. Cancer screening offers several benefits, such as finding cancer before symptoms appear, lowering a person's chance of dying from cancer, and detecting cancer that are easier to treat and cure when they are found early. It is undeniable that getting tested for cancer is a life-saving opportunity for all adults, choosing to get screened in a way to make your health a priority for you and those you love. The best way to reduce you getting chance of cancer is to practice prevention and getting screened. Your first step is to take action to prevent cancer is to talk to your doctor about what cancer tests are right for you. High-risk individuals with family histories of cancer should be working closely with their doctor to determine the best test options. Their screenings are usually at an early age than what is recommended for the general population. There are five cancer screenings recommended for most adults, breast, cervical, prostate, colorectal, lung. Of the five lung cancer testings primarily for smokers who have a long history of cigarette use, not all types of cancers have screening tests, and some tests are for persons with a specific genetic risk. Women should talk to their doctor about when to get breast cancer screening and what test is right for them. The task force recommends a mammogram screening every two years for women aged 50 to 74. The American Cancer Society recommends yearly mammogram starting at age 40 and continuing as long as the woman is in good health. American Cancer Society also recommends a clinical breast exam about every three for women in their 20s and their 30s for every year for women's 40 and over. Cervical Cancer Guidelines Women between 21 and 65 should screen with a pap test every three years or for women aged 30 to 65 who want to lengthen the screening interval screening with a pap smear of of HPV tests every five years. Cervical cancer screenings is not recommended for the following women, younger than 21 and older than 65, who've had an adequate prior screening and not at high risk for cervical cancer. Prostate cancer is most common in older men, African American, and those with a family history of disease. Prostate cancer screening guidelines include, starting at age 50, Men should discuss with their doctor the best testing options for them. Prostate cancer is rare before age 50. Most cases of prostate cancer have a good prognosis. Two types of tests for cancer. One is the prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, and digital rectal exam. The U.S. Prevention Science Task Force has issued a warning about the PSA, and due to the concerns, males are recommended to work with their physicians to decide the best option for prostate cancer screening. Colorectal cancer testing guidelines apply to men and women. The guidelines are, starting at age 50, both men and women should have colorectal screenings. Here are three common tests, colonoscopy, sigma and stool tests are the three tests for this cancer. Individuals who test results are negative or that do not show pulps, which are growth found in the lining of the intestines, are usually not required to have te testing again for 10 years. If symptoms such as pulps have been presented 
or there is a family history of a colorectal cancer, screening should be more frequently. Again, high-risk persons need to work closely with their doctor. Lung cancer is highly preventable. Cigarette smoking accounts for 85% of lung cancer cases. A long history of smoking and advantage age are the main risk factors for the disease. Annual screening for lung cancers with low doses computes tomographically for adults 55 to 80 years who have had 30 packs per year smoking history, currently smoking or have quit within the 15 years. LDCT screening for lung cancer should be discontinued in the following situations. Once a person has not smoked for 15 years or the person develops a health problem that substantially limits life expectancy or the ability or willingness to have creative lung surgery. Because lung cancer has a highly fatality rate, early detection is cr critical. Remember of you. Don't smoke, don't start. Researchers have shown that tests for breast, cervical, colon, and lung cancers will greatly reduce the death from the diseases. Keep in mind that the scientific community is constantly researching new and improved ways to screen for cancer, and as they become available, guidelines may be changed. Getting screened is a way to put your health first to prevent cancer. There are several benefits of engaging in your recommended cancer screening. First, if your results are negative, you have the comfort of knowing that you're cancer-free. Second, you are empowered because you're taking control of your health. Lastly, if something suspicious is found, you have a good chance of diagnosing and treating it early. Through these prevention actions, you are taking positive action to live a healthy, fulfilling life. Imagine your future after following the cancer testing guidelines and how wonderful you will feel when you're in control of your health. MD Anderson, a world-renowned cancer treatment and research institution, has its slogan, Making Cancer History. This slogan perfectly captures the goal of those of the front lines who workers to eradicate these, these diseases and ensure the best outcomes for those with cancer. Rita Gore, a cancer survivor and advocate for testing, is a real-life story that could be yours if you were diagnosed with cancer at an early age. Seeing your doctor regularly is a part of keeping on top of when to have the cancer screening that are right for you. Partnering with your doctor, you will have someone working on your behalf to making sure you continue on the path of a good health. If you're current with your screening, that's great news. Your commitment to your health shows that you value practicing prevention. Think about those you love and how important it is to them that you care about your health. While getting screened may seem like an inconvenience or hassle, the peace of mind that comes from taking care of your health is worth it. I hope you will consider making the decision to get cancer screenings. As we discussed today, there is a need for adults to be current in their screenings cancer screening. In the general population, there are five cancer screenings for adults. Women have two screenings important to them, breast and cervical. Prostate screening should begin for men at age 50. Also at age 50, men and women should have their first colorectal cancer screening. If the results are negative, another screening is not required for another 10 years. Lung cancer screening should start at age 55 for smokers with a long history of cigarette use. If you're not up to date with your test, schedule an appointment with your health care provider. Taking control of your health begins with taking actions and getting screened. Thank you for listening and thank you for walking with me. How many miles did you walk? We'll see you next week.